Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. On Monday, the video released the specifications, price and launch date for the RTX line of GPUs and of course this consisted of the RTX 2070, 2080 and 2080 Ti. Now if you guys missed the presentation, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Of course, I did a follow up video on the GPUs, what I thought about the price and the performance and what I think the benchmarks will come out at and I will leave a link for that video in the description as well. Now a lot of people were really upset with Nvidia in the last four hours the number one complaint was the price of these cars now I have to say at 1200 US dollars the RTX 2080 Ti is a very expensive card now if I convert that into Canadian money that's over 1500 Canadian dollars now of course gamers want to know what type of performance they would get for these cards at the press conference on Monday Nvidia didn't release any type of metrics for the old games they only released metrics for ray tracing and of course the old cards could not do any type of ray tracing now the number one question that we all want to know is how do these cards compare to the old line of GPUs. Personally I want to know how a 2080 compares to a GTX 1080 Ti. Now there's others out there that want to know how the 2080 Ti compares to the current 1080 Ti and others that want to know how the 2080 compares to the GTX 1080. Now thankfully Nvidia today has shared some of its own internal benchmarks. Now these are at 4K and are a comparison between the RTX 2080 and last generation's GTX 1080. Now looking at the charts here we can see up to a 1.5 performance increase. They also list over 2 times performance with a 2080 when DLSS is enabled. Now DLSS is their deep learning anti-aliasing system and I have to say I have to wait to see how this actually looks because I'm hearing some reports that the image quality is not quite the same. Now if it's just a small dip in image quality but you get a lot more frames per second then I think a lot of gamers will be more accepting to this. Now if we average the performance with out DLSS enabled, you do get a one times performance increase over the GTX 1080. Now I wish Nvidia would have told us what type of settings they used to do this benchmark. We don't know if they used high or ultra. Now of course closer to launch we're going to get a lot more benchmarks as these reviewers get the cards in their hands. Now Nvidia also showed some RTX 4K HDR 60Hz benchmarks for some of the top games that we have out now. Now they listed Final Fantasy 7 at 60 frames per second, Hitman with 73 frames frames per second, Call of Duty World War 2 had 93 frames per second, Mass Effect Andromeda had 67 frames per second, Star Wars Battlefront 2 had 65 frames per second, Resident Evil 7 had 66 frames per second, F1 2017 had 72 frames per second, Destiny 2 had 66 frames per second, Battlefield 1 had 84 frames per second, and Far Cry 5 had 71 frames per second. Now Far Cry 5 I've been playing a lot on my GTX 1080 Ti and I can do a comparison on that. Now when I'm running this at 4K resolution with ultra settings I get roughly 63 frames per second. Now based on this metric it's roughly about an 8% increase but once again the video hasn't shared if they used high or ultra settings for the benchmark that they listed here. Now, I have to say it is a little bit murky but we do have a clearer picture. Now if these benchmarks are accurate you are going to see a substantial increase over the last generation cards. Now this is just the RTX 2080 benchmarks. If these are accurate then the RTX 2080 Ti is going to be a monster. Now I have to say there aren't a lot of panels right now that are pushing past 60 hertz. So I will say based on this benchmark here that most will be fine with an RTX 2080. Now the next few weeks are going to be very exciting as these reviewers get these cards in their hands and we start to see some of these benchmarks. Now right now I will say it does look a bit more promising than it did 48 hours ago but of course we have to wait for the official benchmarks from these reviewers because these benchmarks could be cherry picked. Anyways, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on these benchmarks and the RTX line of GPUs in general. Please leave your comments down below and like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.